this is your bug net. Now one of the advantages of a hammock system is is that if it's winter time you don't have to carry your bug net with you. You got your tent, that bug net is with you all the time, adding weight to your system. If you don't want to use the weight of your bug net, it's the middle of December and you've got a good place to camp, you can leave this home. It's what's known as an external mounted bug net. There's a lot of hammocks out there that have them sewn right directly to it. This is a cheap ass hammock. This is a cheap ass bug net. I'm a cheap ass guy. That's why you're getting it. Let me show you how to put it on. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is pull it out of its stuff sack and identify the side where the zipper is. Okay, now this zipper is going to be your entry side. So whatever side of this hammock you want to be the front door, make sure the zipper is on that side. Okay, now this was originally designed to use a different system to hang it from. But because I modified the hammock to put this ridge line, we don't have to need these. Okay, if you feel like you want to get rid of them because of the, the weight that they represent, cut them off. I'll let you decide that. Find the zipper opening and open her up. This has got two zippers on it. Okay, so make sure both zipper ends are up. And that way you can open it without any holes in the middle. Okay. Open it up. Reach in. Find a little hole in the end. You're going to take your hammock, you're going to take the suspension off, stick it through this hole, and then do the same thing on the other side. I'll show you what that looks like. Make sure you go inside. Come out. Put your hand back where it was. Repeat on the other end. Now, you don't have to take this off every time you get to a campsite. You can leave this thing on all summer long without having to, to put it on and take it off. After you've got it through, cinch up that cord around the ball at the end of your hammock. Keep it from moving back and forth. And now, if it wasn't the 1st of January, I'd leave it just like that for the rest of the year. Just get in your hammock the way I told you before, except this time, stick your butt through the opening. You get inside.
Zip it shut and tell the bugs to leave you alone. Now if you want to go to the trouble, you can take the line that's going to be in the sack with the bug net, string it between the trees, and use these hooks to hold it up a bit. And it's a little bit easier to get in and out. And if you're real slick, you'll cut both ends with a little tiny cheap beaner and a prussic knot so that you can adjust it the same way you do your tarp. Okay, your tent weighs six and a half pounds. How much does this system weigh? Because it does exactly the same thing as your tent does, uh, but it's much more adaptable and you don't have to carry your, your ground pad. One pound, 12 ounces for the hammock. Add in the tarp and it's two pounds, 11 ounces. Add in the bug net, three pounds, 5.1 ounces. That's actually half of what you're carrying to sleep in with the tent and a pad. Okay, so now you're saying, well, I hike in the desert. There are no trees in the desert. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but, you can get you some climbing gear, wedges and pitons, and you can hang a hammock from rocks. You find the rocks the right size, the right, you can just put your strap around it and hang from them. There's a Facebook page called Hammock Camping on the PCT, the Pacific Crest Trail. That goes from Mexico to Canada. First third of that is completely in desert, and people are using a hammock to hike the whole thing. Go over there and take a look around. Get the book, The Ultimate Hang. You can get it on Amazon, you can get it on Kindle, paperback, or hardback. Okay? Now your next question is, how do I keep warm? Well, that's a whole other subject. And I'll be talking to you about that in a little bit.